Welcome everyone. Um, we want to thank you for joining us tonight to learn more about dual enrollment. Uh, as you heard, we will be recording our presentation tonight, but we will stop the recording when we get to the question aspect. We will have a question opportunity at the end of the presentation, and that is when any questions from the chat will be answered. So as we talk, if you have questions, please put the questions in the chat, or you can just ask them at the end. So let's get started with introductions. Katie? Find dance here. All right. Um, my name is Katie Vandeslunt. I am the assistant manager in the student recruitment area. And student recruitment, uh, for the purposes of tonight's presentation in particular, is responsible for the Start College Now student or Start College Now program, rather. Um, student recruitment also are the folks that are out visiting the high schools, oftentimes in the counseling areas. So students have uh, access to, to reach us usually monthly in those schools. And we also organize upcoming events on campus like College Preview Day. And my name is Beth Rail, and I am the K-12 Partnership Manager. My team works with all the dual credit teachers and contracts at the high schools. So what is dual enrollment? Dual enrollment is essentially an umbrella that includes a variety of programs or ways a high school student can earn college credit while still in high school. Dual enrollment makes college more affordable for families and introduces students to college level coursework before they fully immerse themselves in college. There are a number of benefits of dual enrollment, um, but we hope to highlight the following. Um, starting college early, making college more affordable, having easily transferable credits, potentially shorting, shortening the time to complete a degree. Dual enrollment can be used for career exploration and in some cases, students can earn credentials. At Moraine Park, students have opportunities to utilize dual credit or transcripted credit courses, start college now, potentially participate in career academies, be a concurrent enrollment student, or get credit for prior learning by utilizing AP and CAP courses. So dual credit, dual credit, sometimes called transcripted credit, is the most top popular type of dual enrollment. Your high school teachers um, teach the Marine Park Technical College course at your high school. Uh, the teacher needs to meet the same qualifications as our teachers here at Marine Park to be able to teach our courses. This is why dual credit course offerings vary at each high school. The course is the same curriculum, same rigor, and expectations. And you must, students must earn a C or higher to receive credit. Through dual credit, you have essentially one foot in the door as a high school student, but you also have another foot as a college student. Um, and dual credit is a great way to prepare you for college. Our course credits are transferable to other colleges, and the best um, part of it is they are free to students. And there's um, dual credit courses in a lot of our Marine Park programs. So how do you get started with dual credit? So all dual credit courses should be denoted in your course schedule, handbook, or book that you have uh, received from your counselors when it's time to pick your courses. Uh, at the beginning of each quarter or semester, your high school teacher will have you register for the dual credit course. Now, something that's important is you need to check the box that you want credits. So you have to opt in for that credit. If you check the no box, you will not receive credit even though you sat in and completed the course. And after the registration period closes, a student cannot receive credit if you did not check the box. Students will also need to check yes on the FERPA release, which allows us as a college to communicate with your parents regarding grades and how you are doing in the course. I also want to mention that 9,924 credits were earned by high school students through dual credit. And in savings for last year, our students and families saved over $1.6 million by taking advantage of the dual credit opportunity. Now, how do you, how do you find out what courses your high school offers as dual credit? 
we have a great dual credit lookup tool and there will be a QR code that will, at the end of the presentation that will take you to this lookup tool. So this is what it, the tool looks like. It is found on the Marine Park webpage and you can change the year. Be sure to select your high school and you can pick all the classes or specific classes to see if your school offers that course. On this particular slide, it's for Fond du Lac High School, and this is not all the courses that Fond du Lac High School offers. It uh, just depicts a portion of the courses. courses. Um, if the course is not offered as dual credit, you can take the course as Start College Now, which Katie will talk about next. Thank you. Start College Now allows juniors and seniors to take courses at the technical college that are not offered within their high school. Courses can be for career exploration or to jumpstart their program of study. Nursing assistant or the CNA class is common as is IT Fundamentals 1, Intro to Business, and a variety of general education courses. Tuition and books will be paid by the high school district. As an example of savings, a one credit course like Computer Literacy Microsoft Office would typically cost $178.70. A three credit class like Intro to Business would typically cost $536.10. So truly participating in Start College Now is going to give you that cost savings that you can roll forward while pursuing the rest of your education. Last year, 736 college credits were earned by Start College Now students, which equates to a savings at over $100,000. To be a Start College Now student, students must be in good academic and behavioral standing and be on, on track to graduate. Students must also have permission from a parent or guardian before seeking school board approval. We also ask that students exhibit social and emotional maturity and be self-motivated, including checking email and staying on task. Um, course requirements at a college level are definitely, certain, are definitely different than the expectations at a high school level. So how do you get started? Second semester, 10th and 11th grade students interested in taking Start College Now for next fall can and should submit their applications to their school counselor no later than March 1st. Typically the applications will go to the school board for approval. The school counselor then sends the completed Start College Now application to the Marine Park recruiter. The Marine Park recruiter will then initiate communications with the student and parent or guardian in the form of text messaging and a variety of emails as well. Current sophomores and juniors who plan to register for general education courses, intro to psychology as an example, may need to also register to take the AccuPlacer placement assessment. Um, general education classes are going to have test score prerequisites. Some juniors may have their ACT scores back in time before registration starts in mid-April, but that's certainly not a guarantee. The AccuPlacer does have a cost of $15, which typically would not be covered by the high school. So that would be an expense that the student and family would need to incur. High school academies. So high school academies are an opportunity for high school students um, that's brand new to earn a uh, to start a college pathway and earn a credential before they graduate from high school. It allows students to dive deeper into a pathway in a college program without the expense. Uh, there, um, they also are a way for a student to earn a higher wage because they have specific skills for jobs in that pathway, and they are a combination of dual credit and start college now courses. Uh, academies are based on the dual credit offered in high schools. We are also opening pathway academies for students that are not typically offered at a high school, such as phlebotomy or robotics, engineering, and manufacturing. And again, there will be a QR code at the end of the presentation that will take you to the K-12 resources page to have you access the high school academies lookup tool. So now I'm going to spend a little bit of time just explaining uh, giving you a picture of what an academy could look like. So this is the robotics, engineering, and manufacturing career pathway. So as a through the academy, a student can earn both the manufacturing fundamental certificate and the automated manufacturing technician certificate. While I'm sorry, tech diploma while you are in high school. Um, this academy will be offered in fall of next year, and it is. Um, 
It is a design that you can um, just earn the first credential or continue towards the second credential and then the associate degree. So the first credential would cr uh, prepare you for a job as a production assembler, a fabricator, or a production operator. And the average salary is $46,060. You could also move on and complete the automated manufacturing technician technical diploma, which would be the above courses for the first certificate and seven additional courses. That savings would be $3,362.60 for those uh, 10 courses, plus your type of job would be a quality assurance technician, a CNC programmer, or a robotics and material handler. The average salary is $59,070. Now, these are also opportunities that you could hold these jobs while you are working towards your associate degree. And the benefit of an academy is now you only have 15 courses left to earn that degree. And when you earn your associate degree in quality and advanced manufacturing technology, you can um, be hired as an engineering technologist, a research and development technician, or a process engineering technician. And the salary for an associate degree is $75,600. And all of the, this information, again, is available at the QR code and comes from the OneNet online uh, web service. We also have a bachelor's degree that is associated with this academy. So if you complete the associate degree, we have transfer agreements with several UW schools, and one of them is UW-Milwaukee, that will take your associate degree, move you into a, pro a bachelor's degree program at UWM as a junior, and then you only have to finish a year or two to um, graduate with your bachelor's degree in engineering. Here is the academy schedule for the robotics engineering and manufacturing. And this is just a sample schedule to give you an idea of what an academy could look like. When we plan academies, we try to plan them either at the beginning of the day or the end of the day. So for this situation, the student would be on our campus from 7.55 to uh, 9.50 every day. Um, Monday through Friday. And you'll notice the tech print reading has a five to seven o'clock um, p.m. schedule. We are looking to move that into the Tuesday morning slot so that this may change. But I wanted to give you an idea of what an academy schedule would look like. If you are interested in any of the academies, um, especially the Robotics, Engineering and Manufacturing Academy, you will want to apply for Star College now by March 1st. And you'll want to reach out to us um, or Katie's team to um, get you started in applying for that academy. So how do you get started? Uh, students will connect with your assigned Marine Park recruiter. There's one at each school or one assigned to each school and they will trans transition you over to work with our K-12 specialist, Nick Lane. Now I do need to share that academies can change at any point due to changes in high school dual credit offerings because it's based on um, the teacher at the high school that teaches the course. So due to the varying degree of dual credit courses offered in our high schools, uh, career academies will vary greatly by district. So please check out the um, academies opportunities on the K-12 page. Concurrent enrollment is an opportunity for students who plan to take nine plus credits during each semester of their senior year with the intention to earn a technical diploma or associate degree at Moraine Park to really get ahead of the game. As an admitted program student, they'll be able to work with an academic advisor, register for classes a few days earlier each semester, and really feel connected to the college. There is a concurrent enrollment form to complete in addition to the admissions steps and the recruiters will work with the students to help take care of these additional pieces. When taking concurrent enrollment classes, some of the funding can absolutely be Start College Now funding if approved by the high schools. And we've also found that sometimes families will need to self-fund additional courses that perhaps are not going to be approved by the local school districts. And again, the recruiters can help students navigate that process. Also worth noting, Financial aid is not available to concurrent enrollment students because you've not yet graduated from high school. Um, so students are also not 
eligible for Marine Park Foundation scholarships um, just during this concurrent enrollment time. Certainly after you officially graduate from high school and are continuing your enrollment at Marine Park for your second year, then absolutely you'll be eligible to utilize financial aid and Marine Park Foundation scholarships. Advanced placement or AP is another option high school students can utilize to earn college credits. While AP courses are not directly affiliated with Marine Park, we do accept these college board transcripts and can apply transfer credit. Each school will offer different AP courses, so please check with your high school scheduling handbook. As an example, many high schools will offer AP psychology. The student not only needs to pass the course, they need to take the AP exam and earn a three or higher. The student will then request a transcript from College Board to be sent to Marine Park and will apply the transfer credit to your permanent student record. Keep in mind, AP courses are not free. There is a cost to test as well as a cost to request the transcript. Please check out our Credit for Prior Learning page on our website, marinepark.edu, to view a listing of common AP courses and how they transfer to Marine Park. CAP is another program. CAP is the Cooperative Academic Partnership Program, which is offered through UW Oshkosh. And again, another option available in many of our local high schools. Similar to AP courses, offerings will vary by high school. There are some eligibility criteria students must meet to be eligible to receive that CAP credit. Typically being in the top 30% of the class and having a cumulative grade point average of 2.75 plus. These are also not free. Um, an example common in our local high schools is CAPCOM, which is equal to Intro to Public Speaking. This will transfer in for speech and or oral and interpersonal communication. Thank you, Katie. In 2023, we are very excited to say that we had 2,931 students that took advantage of dual enrollment. We had 134 students uh, who took contracted courses within their high school, 4,391 dual credit enrollments, and uh, 10,917 credits were earned through dual enrollment opportunities. So it's a pretty um, neat sure. opportunity for students. And um, we're just about done with our presentation. So here is the QR code that goes to the K-12 resources page. We will give you a minute or two to scan the QR code before we start questions. And also the contact information here um, to reach Katie's team, the recruitment team, and my team, the K-12 team. And of course, our marinepark.edu website. So we will let you um, quick scan the QR code so you have access to everything that we talked about. Okay, so we have stopped the recording and now we're going to open it up to questions. <laughs> 